Boxingscene.com at the Manhattan Center, where we caught up with the promoter of number one contender to the heavyweight championship, Sam Peter, and his name is Dino Duva. Dino, how you feeling, first of all, my friend? Feel great, man. Feel great. Everything is going good. So let's talk a moment about Samuel Peter and James Tony. It was a controversial decision. Many people felt that Tony could or should have won the decision. What is your thought about that? Well, I don't think it was controversial. I think it was a good, tough, hard fight, an excellent heavyweight match, and uh, the judges scored it the way they saw it. Just Sam Peter won on two of the judges' scorecards by five points. I mean, it was a good, tough fight. Uh, there were some close rounds, but Sam Peter won the fight, and uh, I don't think it was controversial. I think the only people that made a controversy were Tony's people. And what do you think of the fact that they say that Sam Peter was hitting illegally? Uh, that's BS. I mean, the ref calls it as he sees it. He took a point away from Sam for something that was borderline, in my opinion. But the ref called a good fight. The judges called it as they saw it. They were neutral officials. It was a fair scoring fight, and, uh, you know, to me, the only controversy was stirred up by James Tony and his promoter, Dan Goosen. What do you think of the fact that they're trying to get an immediate rematch as opposed to your man getting his shot at the title? Well, they can try whatever they want, but if the WBC um, is fair, and I think they will be, they won't order a rematch. I think if the WBC tries to order a rematch, it would be a disgrace. But I believe the WBC is going to be fair and come to reason, and I don't think a rematch will be ordered. So how does Peter feel nowadays about, number one, his victory over James Tony? and being the number one contender to that title. Well, he feels great. I mean, you know, this fight was a great fight. This was Sam Peter's coming out party, and he's even more excited about the opportunity to fight for the title. And that's been his mission all along, and now hopefully he's finally going to get it. Dino, during the press tour, James Tony was disrespectful and saying things about family members and sorts of that. After the fight, did he say anything? Did he, you know, say it was part of the game? Anything at all? Nah, James uh, doesn't have a lot of class, you know. I mean, he said some stupid things, but I brushed that off. It's no big deal, you know. This is competitive stuff. Uh, after the fight, James didn't really say anything to me. Uh, I think him and Sam Peter's manager, Ivalo, had a few words, but it was kind of... Uh, it was kind of a tone down after the fight. I think James realized he was in there with a great fighter, and I think he was humbled a little bit. During the telecast of HBO after the fight in the locker room, Sam Peter was giving James Tony a lot of credit. He was a great heavyweight, and did that give him some kind of confidence within himself? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, look, James Tony is a great fighter. You can't take that away from him, and Sam beat him. Sam outboxed the great boxer. And that gave Sam a lot of confidence that he was able to do that. He didn't have to knock a guy out to win, which was great. And uh, Sam knew James Tony was a great fighter, and Sam knows it now. But Sam won the fight. Next step, WBC title. So how does it feel to have Sam Peter on your banner on the verge of championship? Sam Peter it means the world to me and my company. I mean, he's the most important fighter in the world to me and my company. Um, I'm just looking forward for him to win the heavyweight title and then wiping the Russians off the map. Last question. How do you think a fight with Peter and Moscow plays out? I think Sam knocks out Moscow. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Boxing talk. Boxing. My hey, don't worry about it.